you. Welcome parents, family members, special guests, alumni, and especially the class of 2017. Yeah. As I stand here looking at you, all of us here remember the first day we met you, our first sixth grade class. Yeah. Most of you were 10 or 11 years old. Others joined us later. But for each of you, we've had the privilege of watching you grow up right before our eyes. Every one of you has worked very hard to make the best of yourselves. I hope that we have taught you to be kind, to contribute to your community, and to work hard for the things you want in life. Always remember how truly special you are and how very proud everyone in this room is of you. And because you are all so very special, it is only fitting to have a very special guest come to speak to all of you today. A guest who has fought to improve public education and believes that all New Yorkers deserve a chance to succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce New York City's 109th Mayor, the Honorable Bill de Blasio. Thank you. First of all, I want to ask the graduates. Ms. Hernandez, is she a good principal? I'm sorry I can't hear you. Is she a good principal? Okay, that was your performance review. Okay. Thank you. I want to thank Ms. Hernandez for her tremendous work leading this school. And this school has done such amazing things, and you all are examples of all the good that happens in this school and in all of our schools. And I'm going to talk about you and how proud we are of you. But I also want to thank the other leaders who are with us. City Council Member Vanessa Gibson is here. <laughs> Assembly Member Luis Sepulveda, thank you so much. And before I talk about you, could we just take a moment to appreciate the amazing, the amazing performance we just heard from Amanda, who's over there. Congratulations, Amanda. Now, graduates, this is your day. We are so proud of you. We're so proud of the journey that you traveled successfully. It was a lot of hard work, wasn't it? A lot of hard work but you stuck to it. And just a few years ago, I was at a graduation like this for my son Dante, and then a few years before that for my daughter Chiara. And I have to tell you, I was proud those days as a father. But I'm proud today as your mayor because what you have achieved makes us all proud of our city. It makes us proud of the amazing, talented young people that come from this borough of the Bronx. Who's from the Bronx? Can, can anyone do that X thing? Can you do that? Thank you. Just prove it. I want to see proof. I want to see proof. Okay. You proved you're from the Bronx. So I'm so proud of you as your mayor. Your teachers are so proud of you. But you know, the people who are the most proud of you, I believe, are the ones who saw you through every step of this from the day you were born. Your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, all the family who was there for you. So I need you to do me a favor. Get on your feet and give them a standing ovation, all of them. All right, all right, to the, to the parents especially, you see? You see, you got your moment of appreciation. Doesn't always happen, but you got one today and you deserve it. Congratulations to the parents and all the family members, congratulations. And this school, I, I had the pleasure of visiting this school before, and I, I saw what's special about this place. By the way, the spirit of the Bronx is in this place, 
And that's a big deal. But also the name. There's a reason for the name. The Bronx School for Law, Government, and Justice. Because everyone here is focused on the ways that you can contribute to the society around you. If you come to this school, it's because you are ready for excellence and you are ready to make a difference. And I visited an AP government class. And all of you in the AP government class were very serious. You were tough questioners. You asked very tough questions. You were purposeful. You were thoughtful. And it made me so hopeful. And this is a school that really makes you think about what we owe to all of you and to all the other young people coming behind you. Because we cannot, as a society, talk about supporting you and helping you, uplifting you, and then forget to actually do the things that will give you that strong start in life. You got here because you worked hard, but we have to be there for you too. And so, when I think about this place, I think about the message you received here, that everyone was bound for something great. It could be college, it could be career. But whatever it was, we were here to support you in achieving that. And the message from the beginning was if college is what you want, we're going to move heaven and earth to get you there. And I saw the list of how many are going to college. Let's congratulate all of them. This school, this school is a part of something new we've been doing in the New York City Public Schools. This is a college access for all school, which means everyone, everyone, every student is told, if it's, that's the thing you believe in, if that's the thing you aspire to, we're going to do the things to get you there. Now, one thing that happened this year, and I'm very, very proud of it, is something new we did in the whole school system. We said for tens of thousands of students, we were going to make your CUNY application free. Free. Parents, you like that? And this is the amazing thing about this school. Every single student who qualified for the free application took advantage of it. Literally every single student who qualified put in that application to CUNY. And a lot of you are now on your way to CUNY. That is an example of something that we have to do to create that bright future for you. It is part of a larger vision called equity and excellence. And the notion is that no one should be limited because of what neighborhood they come from, what zip code they come from, what background they come from. Equal access to all the opportunities of our society. And you embody that. Now, I want to say to you, this city, a lot of you know this, this city didn't used to do the kinds of things we're describing here. And we're here to celebrate you, but I want to take a moment since all of you have focused on law and government and justice and the real issues facing our society, we need to talk in a way that's very real about some of what used to happen. It used to be that a lot of people didn't apply to college because they couldn't afford it. It used to be that a lot of young people were not told college was for them. And think about that. Think about good and talented people because of what they looked like, where they came from, what language they spoke, being told, no, that's not for you. Think of how negative that was. We've changed that. And we have proven that more and more kids can succeed by being given that open door. So I want to say one more thing about the big picture, and then I'm going to talk about you and what comes next in your life. The big picture is we've got a lot to do, not just for you, but all those who come behind you. And in this city, the responsibility rests with me. It's why we have a thing we call mayoral control of education, because it says something very simple. Every single one of you deserves a great education. 
Every single one of you deserves it. And in this school, you got it. That responsibility for ensuring that happen resides right here with one person elected by the people of this city. That has allowed us that very simple concept that someone is held accountable for the good of our children has allowed us to move forward. Do you know that you're also representatives of a great new phenomenon in this city? About 15 years ago, only about half of the kids who got through high school actually graduated. We only graduated about half the kids. Started high school, only half got out with a diploma. In the last 15 years, that has improved by 50%. 50%. That's because there was accountability. That's because the public got to hold me accountable and my predecessor accountable. And that's why we have college access for all. That's why we have free CUNY admission. That's why we have things like more and more AP classes. For all of you who liked your AP class, every high school in New York City will now have AP classes because every student deserves to have that opportunity. And that's why, and some of the parents still have children young enough to appreciate this, that's why we're doing things like pre-K for every four-year-old for free in this city. That only happened because the mayor had the authority and the responsibility and accountability. And that's what we have to continue for the good of all. Now let me finish by talking about this moment in your life. I hope you all know there are many joyous days in life. There are many memorable days in life. This is one of the great days. This is a day you'll be able to see in your mind. Like, literally, I can tell you, if you said to me right now, remember that day in June of 1979 when I graduated high school? That's a little while ago. Uh-oh, I just gave my age. But <laughs> I can remember that day in June of 1979 like it was yesterday. Like, I can see it all because it's one of those amazing moments. And you earned it. And so I need you to feel the full pride you deserve on this day, because it's an amazing thing. But now what happens next? This is the, one of these amazing days in life where you can totally enjoy the moment, but you're always going to have a bit of your mind saying, what's up ahead? If you're going to a job, what's it going to be like on that job? If you're going to a college, what's it going to be like to actually live on that college campus? Maybe be away from your family for the first time. And it's going to be a voyage of discovery. Whatever you do, you're about to experience a whole lot of new things. Well, let me offer something to you. You have something amazing already. You have something amazing. And you'll see when you meet other young people your age who went to school in other places, you'll notice an immediate difference. They may, they may be great, but they will not have what you have because you went to a New York City public school. And you learned with everybody, every kind of person from all over the world, every culture, every faith. You learned to understand the whole world, even as you were growing up. This is a world you've heard we're more of a global world than we've ever been. People are more connected than ever before in our history. You're primed for that world. You're ready for that world because so many things makes sense to you that someone who had a narrower experience or a more isolated experience wouldn't understand what you understand already. And you've been trained to be excellent and you've been trained to make a difference. So I'll finish with saying this. Everyone here surrounding you, your family, your teachers, everyone has faith in you. They have faith in the impact you're going to make in your lives. I have only one piece of advice, which is it's wonderful that people have faith in you. It's wonderful they have expectations and dreams for you, but, and, and I say this with absolute honor and respect to all the parents, and remember, I have a 19-year-old and a 22-year-old, so I'm only saying what I have to deal with every day myself. The fact is, we can dream for you, but the only dreams that matter are your own.
So when someone has when someone has a vision of your future that may not be your own, see it as appreciation. See it as hope and love. But the vision that matters is the one you create. The one you create. And you know, down through history, there are many people that other people wanted them to be a doctor or a banker. They weren't interested in that. They became a musician. They became an artist. They became a leader. There's many great ways to contribute, but the one that you have to seek is the one that's true to your heart. And that is a piece of advice I can guarantee you it will be relevant in your next move in life, but it's going to be relevant 10 years and 20 years from now also. So feel the pride of this moment. Recognize everything that's in you. Don't let anyone deny you your dreams. You're on the launching pad, and now we get to watch you take off. God bless you all. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor de Blasio, for sharing those special words with the class.